Hello everyone, Amanda Williams, MD, MPH, here with you today. I want to talk about a very important B vitamin, and that is benfotiamine. Not only is it fun to say, it does so many amazing things for our body. And what it actually is, it is the fat-soluble form of vitamin B1, which is thiamine. So when we think about our B vitamins, we know that those are generally going to be water-soluble. But benfotiamine happens to be this really unique form of a fat-soluble vitamin B1. And the reason why this is important is because we know that this can stay in the system much longer, potentiating all of its benefits. So oftentimes when people think about the utilization of thiamine, for example, which is vitamin B1, they think about it in the setting of nerve health which is important because we know that one of the things that benfotiamine, this key fat soluble B1 does, is it really targets glycation. And what we know about glycation is this is something that occurs in the body when glucose starts to rapidly circulate. Now, keep in mind, this can happen if you are a diabetic as well as people who are not diabetics. We can all have glycation that occurs within our system and it can be damaging to so many different things. So what happens is you have what's known as a Mallard reaction. I'm not going to get too heavy into the science on this, but I always say think of barbecuing and when you grill and you get the grill marks and that, that charcoal look, that is a glycation or a Mallard type of a reaction. Well, we don't want that to occur inside of our body because we know that that can certainly do damage. We think about our eyes, think about your kidneys, think about your heart. There's so many areas where you think, yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to expose my body to a barbecue. So this is why benfotiamine is very important because it helps to regulate the way that the body handles this glycation. So what occurs is you get this buildup of what is known as AGEs or advanced glycation end products. So this seems very technical, but to just try and make it more simple, we know if we have excess AGEs, hence the name age, it's going to age us faster because it's kind of cooking the insides. So we get this glycation that occurs and it hooks on to all of these important things. We think about our nerves, we think about muscles, we think about all the ways in which glycation can be damaging to our body. And we know that benfotiamine does a wonderful job in terms of targeting these advanced glycation end products. We certainly know that AGEs are known to deactivate certain enzymes. We know that it can drive up inflammation in the body. It certainly creates this environment of excess free radicals. We also know it does damage to our DNA. So that means at a cellular level, we are getting damage occurring because of these advanced glycation end products. We also know that this can certainly disrupt cell signaling pathways. So we think about the nervous system. That's very important when we talk about signaling pathways. So for many people who maybe are familiar with benfotiamine, they know that this has been utilized in the setting of people who experience different types of neuropathies. And perhaps that neuropathy has been brought on because of excess glycation, maybe because of uncontrolled blood glucose levels. So in the setting of diabetes, for example. So we know that benfotiamine can be very, very targeted towards this. And why is that? Well, let's think about the way that benfotiamine is actually working. We know that it activates this very important enzyme known as transketolase. And through that activation of transketolase, this allows the body to convert toxic glucose metabolites that are building up and it converts them into this harmless compound. So hence, it's not doing damage. So if we take benfotiamine, we're allowing the body to rev up our transketolase production, which helps to mitigate that negative effect that those advanced glycation end products bring on. So that's very important. We also know that benfotiamine is very, very targeted towards NF-kappa beta. And NF-kappa beta is 
nuclear factor kappa beta, which is a master driver for inflammation in the body. So we see all of these ways in which benfotiamine can be giving us that assistance or that helping hand when the body is struggling with removing these toxic metabolites and helping to regulate inflammation. And this is important because we know every single chronic disease state out there has a backbone of chronic inflammation. So we always want to try to target inflammation. So we can look at someone who perhaps has metabolic syndrome or diabetes, for example, you think, okay, well, we know that there's definitely glycation occurring and excessive rates. We also know that inflammation is most likely a major issue as well. So something such as benfotiamine, which you can find in our nerve HX, so if you go to our website, invitehealth.com, and check out Nerve HX, this is a standalone benfotiamine formulation. This has been studied in the setting of diabetic neuropathies, for example. We also know that because of that activation of transketolase to remove those harmful glucose metabolites, it's also been shown to be very beneficial in the setting of kidney disease. So for those who have any type of kidney dysfunction, having benfotiamine on board is quite advantageous. So that's one area. Now, here's a really interesting area of research that's currently going on. It's happening at Columbia University where they were doing a pilot study utilizing benfotiamine in the setting of mild cognitive impairment. So we're looking at that precursor leading into things like dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Now, why would researchers think Let's look at benfotiamine for brain health. Why would they do this? Well, one thing that we know about vitamin B1 is it is critical to our cognitive abilities. And we see this in alcoholics, for example, where their B vitamins start to be stripped from the body. And one area that's incredibly impacted by that lack of vitamin B1 in particular is the brain. And so they said, well, we know in alcoholics we have this significant cognitive impairment that occurs when there is insufficient vitamin B1. But we also recognize that in the setting of Alzheimer's disease and dementia and cognitive impairment, we have an issue that occurs in terms of glycation that's occurring, but maybe B1 would actually play a really supportive role in this. And so this is why they're looking at this. So even for people who have concerns about aging gracefully and maintaining that strong memory, considering taking something such as Nerve HX would be also a very advantageous move. So we know it's very beneficial when we look at cellular health. We know it's helping to activate transketolase and get rid of all of that glucose metabolite, that toxic glucose metabolite. We know it's targeting NF-kappa beta to help the body in terms of regulating inflammation. We also know that if we can support proper cell signaling pathways by making sure that the body isn't getting too much of those advanced glycation end products, that we are doing ourselves a wonderful service. So it is one of the B vitamins that I like to talk about on a regular basis because I've seen the science behind it. I see how beneficial this can be. It is really quite remarkable when you have someone who is dealing with certain issues such as neuropathies, when you have someone who has problems with kidney dysfunction or perhaps even with vision health, memory, and they start to utilize this very powerful fat soluble, which is so unique, vitamin B1, how much benefit they can actually yield from that. So definitely check it out and also make sure that you go to our website and sign up for our email newsletter. This is important because you can get very key alerts for different specials and offers that we have at time to time. Uh, so definitely do that and look at the Nerve HX. This is a wonderful, wonderful formulation. I will be back with you in a few more days to talk about more great products at Invite Health. Thank you so very much.